Hello everybody, this is a video where I'm going to show you how to do a gauge r, r in Minitab with variable data. So first we click on stat and then we click on quality tools and then we go to gauge study and then we go to create a gauge r, r study worksheet. First, uh, this is a worksheet um, on Minitab. They will show you how to create your your gauge r, &R study model. So for part parts uh, number of parts, we're gonna use ten, which is what people usually use in the industry. But you can change it to to any number of parts you want. Uh, but in this case, for the purpose of this example, we're going to use 10 parts. Uh, for the operators, we're going to use three operators. And we're going to, I already name, put the name of the operators here. So I have three operators. Uh, and then, um, you know, I made these uh, names up. Put Jason is my first operator, Bilbo, my second operator run my third operator and then number of replicates uh, we're gonna do two um, we hit options we can randomize the runs or you can you don't have to randomize that's up to you uh, so in this case we are going to randomize it's an option that I recommend we hit OK and then OK again and there you have your gauge r, &R model sheet. So this means that this is the run order. This is the order that you're supposed to to do each, each measurement. Um, so Jason has to measure part three, and then you have to create another column where you're going to put the output, the result. So right here, I'm going to put the measurement I get from Jason on part three, uh, the first replica or replicate. So um, for the purpose of this, uh, of this example, I already have some data. So I'm just going to copy paste it from, from my Excel sheet. So I have the data already. So now I'm going to show you how to analyze the data. And then we click Stat, Quality Tools, Gauge Study, and then we use Gauge r, &R Study Crust. We're going to use a Crust option because uh, we're supposing that these are not destructive samples, or this is not a destru destructive uh, test. So we click that and then, um, sorry, I already had this filled out, but for part numbers, we're going to put parts for operators, operators, measurement data, of course, is going to be our results. And method of analysis, uh, I always like to use the X bar in R charts. They're very helpful. Um, and uh, for study variation, we leave it at six for six sigma. And we're not gonna use tolerance at this time. Then we click okay. And this is what we get. Um, in this example, we can see that there's a lot of variation in the, in the method, in the test method or process variation, we can call it either or. Um, Gauge r, r is very high, uh, and my part-to-part -part variation is really low. Um, I can tell that my operators, Jason, Bilbo, and Ron, di didn't agree in the measurements. So for what I can see, it looks like it will, my method is not effective. So that's what the graphs are showing, and um, but then you want to go look at the mini tab analysis text. So right here, uh, Minitab is telling me that my gauge r, &R 
uh, variation is 88%, which is pretty high. The, the standard is um, lower than 30%. In some companies, they don't accept more than 10%. Uh, but that depends on the application. For example, for medical companies, which is the company where I work at, they don't accept anything higher than 15%. So this is a really bad, ex this is an example that of a test method that is not very effective. So now I'm going to show you uh, what an effective um, what a um, a method that is effective looks like. So I already have an example prepared. So I'm going to do the same thing. Go to Stat, Quality Tools, and then go to um, GetRNR Study. And we click on GetRNR Study, Crust. And then we do the same thing over here. We click on, oops, sorry about that. We click on part numbers, parts, operators, operators, measurement data, uh, results. And uh, we leave the same, on options, we leave a study variation. We leave it at six standard deviations and just, uh, as a pointer, uh, if you guys want to ch wanna uh, change the name of the study, you just add your the name of the study. So, for example, I'm just gonna call it YouTube example. The date, your name, and all the good stuff. But um, okay, now you have everything in there: uh, parts, operators, and results. And then you click OK. And for this example we can see that uh, there's only uh, one spike on Jason that didn't measure one part or his measurement did not align with the measurement made by Bilbo and Ron. But overall, everything looks good. All the variation comes from part to part, which is good. And then um, I go to the mini tab text and I can see that my total gauge RNR variation is 4.54, which is pretty good. That means that um, that my process variation is under control, and then my my test method is effective. Okay, so. Um, there's another tool that you can use for uh, for gauge RNR that is more graphic, and you can use the assistant option. So if you want to learn how to use the uh, gauge RNR using the assist the assistant tool, then you can watch my other video. Thank you for watching. I hope that this example was helpful.